We fished all along here. We used to catch a fair bit of fish back in them days, yeah. Get a good feed, yeah, get a good feed. Well, golden perch are one of the higher order predators in the Murray-Darling system. Their preferred habitat is actually undercut banks and also um, in-stream woody debris, so fallen trees and branches. Now the biggest problem for golden perch in this part of the world has been the introduction of many weirs. Uh, these weirs stop the migration of fish um, after spawning back upstream to where the adults are located. One of the other problems that has occurred in this part of the river has been the lack of riparian vegetation. The juveniles require the bankside vegetation to hide from predators and as a source of food. In 2006, uh, Condamine Alliance set out to engage the community across the catchment through a program called River Rescue Program. And at the time we saw that uh, the best way to do that was through the data fish strategy demonstration reach concept. The idea is, is certainly the cornerstone for us to be able to engage with the community. Over the last five years we probably have uh, established probably close to seven or eight kilometres of uh, riparian fencing that uh, excludes uh, cattle from uh, the Oakey Creek and about 20 hectares of, um, of revegetation that's occurred along the creek. We've established two fishways which allows um, fish to move upstream a lot easier through old bridges that used to uh, prevent them from moving along the creek. Working with local governments pretty integral. Probably the biggest ticket item was installation of the um, fishway and then we It allows fish to move from down below us here to up above the weir wall and keep moving up the river system. So what that's uh, allowed is basically to open up over 100 kilometres of fish passage. We had a, a weir wall there that fish, native fish couldn't travel past. We've seen anglers getting increased catches of of golden perch in the area. At Bowen Rill Reserve we actually saw a thousand percent increase in the number of golden perch after extensive re-snagging and um, carp removal activities. Um, in Mile Creek we've also seen a resurgence of the hurdles tandan, sometimes called the moonfish. This species had not been seen within the catchment um, for quite a few years. Bowenville is a um, small school community. Well, I see our students and our kids as the future. These students are the future custodians of the land. They're very passionate about the reserve. They're passionate about the wider community. They're, they're passionate about the creek. And I'd say that their involvement with the demonstration reach has supported and helped to give them that. You know, this sort of thing here is excellent cover for all your, all your native fish right through there. And then these midstream, that's a tremendously um, ideal snag there in the middle of the river there. You can see them sticking up out. And along this side here, big logs here, and the other big dead trees over there. I've been on the uh, Community Stakeholder Task Force for the Native Fish Strategy for the last uh, 13 years. Demonstrations do work. The results have been astounding um, from the Native Fish point of view and we can't afford not to keep doing this if we want to have some Native Fish in the future.